Okay, hello everybody. Good afternoon. It is currently 8:17 p.m. And uh, before we begin this video, I do have I did buy some new Pokemon cards, but I am waiting until May 10th to open them. And I'm not gonna tell you why. Love will have to make good notes why, but maybe you guys can try to figure it out why this special case I'm not opening until May 10th. So leave your comments below what you think it is and why it's so special and has to be on May 10th. But without further ado, let's get started. This is a Q&A video that Lobo Hatsumiku made, so let's jump right into it. Hello everybody, this is Lobo Hatsumiku here, and in today's video I will be doing a Q&A video. So without any further ado, let's just get right into the questions. Alright, first question. I think I've asked... I love the cat ears. They are adorable. This already, but what is your dream job? Sorry for slow response. Well, darling, my dream job is to be a voice actor because I've always wanted to be, like, in a booth just making a whole bunch of voices for different characters. I've always wanted to do that ever since I was like nine years old or maybe ten because it was at that age. I thought I think it's like really fun. I would really love to do it. I do it on YouTube for fun. If you can't tell, even if I don't ever become a voice actor, it would still be cool. I'm, I would be sad, but hey, I just do it on YouTube for fun. I'll start with a simple one. What's your favorite anime? I do not have a favorite anime because, one, I don't watch anime that much. Versus, like, when I was 15, I used to watch anime, like, almost all the time. But since I'm older, I just don't have time for it, nor do I really care for it. So I don't really have a favorite anime, but I really do love Pokemon and stuff like that. That's a really good anime and some other ones. But yeah, I don't have a favorite anime. Nice. Neither do I. Well, actually, I guess I do. Mine would have to be Sailor Moon, because that was the first anime I ever watched, and ironically, the reason I got that was because I actually bought a Pokemon V- or rented a Pokemon VHS tape from a uh, family video, and they put the wrong VCR tape in there, so instead of getting Pokemon, I got Sailor Moon, so originally Pokemon was supposed to be my first anime, but it wound up being Sailor Moon. <laughs> so thank you, family video. Who's your favorite MLP character? Applejack, duh. I find her so funny. She's like the only stable pony out of all the main six. I mean, don't get me wrong, the other ones are okay. Rainbow Dash I find is pretty freaking annoying with her cockiness. Twilight is okay. Rarity I freaking love. Pinkie Pie is an okay character. Fluttershy is just kind of overrated because she keeps learning the same lesson. And Starlight I could care less about even though she, apparently she's part of the main seven now. Starlight's just like, mm. But yeah, Applejack is my favorite character. She's always been my favorite. I love her. I don't care if anyone hates her. I love Applejack. I think she's the best pony. What's your opinion on the dab? Dude, I think dabs are so funny. I don't know why, but when someone does the dab, I think it's like so funny. But when I, but if I see it on TV, like in a comedy, like, okay, Nickelodeon has like the worst comedy shows ever. Like one time I saw a commercial for Nickelodeon on my TV and the person did a dab and I was like, no, just no. Oh my God, it's so bad when they do it on a comedy, like especially a bad comedy, it's just like shoot me in the eyeball, no. I gotta say Nickelodeon has had a shitty run when it comes to comedies, especially live action comedies. Nick, let me tell you something. I grew up you within the 90s. You made better cartoons than you did live action shows. So go back to the cartoons. Go back to your roots. Stop trying to fit in with the fads because that's all they are. They're fads. And cartoons have been around forever. They will continue to be around. Cartoons are a wise investment. What's your favorite sweet food? Mm. I like a lot of sweet foods, to be honest. Mm. Do fruits count? Because it's so, it would have to be a strawberry. I love strawberries. If you went anywhere in the world, where would you go? Hmm. That's a kind of a tough question. I would like to go back to America again. I've been there before when I was like 10. Super fun. So I would probably go back to America just to go back to Disneyland because I had so much fun. Face reveal. Good enough. <laughs> what is your favorite food? Tempura shrimp. I love tempura shrimp. If you don't. Ooh, tempura shrimp is delicious, but you gotta try coconut shrimp. Especially 
go to um, a Chinese restaurant and get their coconut sweet shrimp. It is delicious. It tastes like candy. It doesn't even taste like shrimp. If you don't know what tempura shrimp, it's basically like shrimp and they, it's in this like, it's in this like stuff and they roll it up. I forgot what that stuff is called, but it's like, it's like hard crusty stuff. It's really good. Oh my god, I love it so much. I love a lot of types of food actually, like I like fettuccine. I love that stuff a lot. Mm, Spaghetti is really good too. I just like, but I like a lot of foods. I don't like fish. That stuff makes me really sick. I can't eat it. But yeah, tempura would have to be my favorite food. It's so good. How long have you been on Google Plus? Um, probably four years now. I started in 2015 because that's when I started posting. So yeah, four years. It's been a long time. I'm pretty happy with it. What's your favorite video game? Um, my favorite video game is Okami and Spyro Dawn of the Dragon and Splatoon and a few like Sonic the Hedgehog games like Sonic Colors and the Black Knight. Those games are so much fun. I also like Super Mario Galaxy because Mario games are so much fun. So those would have to be, be my favorite games. But Okami and Spyro are like the two favorite of mine. Those games are so great. I love them. What is the name of your YouTube channel? Um, Lovable Hatsune Miku? Does that answer your question? Favorite fictional character? Mm, that's a tough one. Hmm, I would have to say Hatsune Miku, and for cartoon character, it would probably be SpongeBob because I love SpongeBob. Oh my god. What would you do if you woke up to see yourself as a man? Oh my god, if I ever woke up in a man's body, I would just cry. Mm, I don't know why, I would just freak out and then cry. I'd be like, what the heck happened to me? I feel like I'd have like a very deep voice for a guy, because my voice is very high, so it'd be funny that I have the opposite voice. Oh man. Yeah, I'm a guy and my voice isn't really that deep. I kind of make it deep when I'm sick, but yeah, mine can't get really deep, so... Just because you have a high pitch voice doesn't mean you're going to have a low pitch voice. And do you like eggs? Um, yes and kind of no. I mean, they're good for you, but I don't like to eat them all the time because I usually eat sweets. I'm so weird. Some might have already been asked, so I'm going to try a random few. Have you ever traveled outside of your country? If so, where to? Do you know how to ride a bike? If so, what age did you first learn without training wheels? What are your goals and ambitions for your future? What do you prefer to eat during breakfast? What desserts do you tend to or crave? <laughs> to answer the first one, yes, I have traveled outside of Canada, and that was when I went to America in 2010, when I went to Disney World. I was 10 years old at the time, it was so great. I don't remember much, but I do remember the travel. I had such a blast at Disneyland, it was so much fun. Yes, I know how to ride a bike, and I cannot remember the age, but I'm pretty sure it was before kindergarten, so I hope that it answers your question. My goals and ambition for the future would probably be to have a great YouTube channel, make people happy. I like to surround myself with people who always have good vibes, because on Sunday, I got bullied. Someone said I was, like, overrated and stuff like that, and it made me sad, so I was like... It really got me thinking like why I really love surrounding myself with people with good vibes because if you surround yourself with people who always have good vibes, you're always going to be a happy person. I do not like to be around people who are going to- Those are wise words, people. If somebody's make you unhappy or sad, don't focus on those people. Just ignore them and focus on the people who actually care about you, who actually want to make you happy. Don't focus on the bad, focus on the good. And it put me down, because it's like, why are you even here? So, yeah, my goal and ambitions is probably to be have like a great YouTube channel and hopefully become a voice actor. That would be so cool. For breakfast, I don't really eat because I just find I never have the time anymore. I used to when I was like in, in, in elementary school, but I find that once you go to high school, you have to wake up, you're just so tired. I just never have time for breakfast. Sometimes I do, like if my dad makes me breakfast, but usually my breakfast is just coffee because I just find that if I have coffee, I'm just like good for the day. I was like, yep, don't eat breakfast. <laughs> you sound like my sister. She does not eat breakfast anymore. She will be, I'll be very lucky if I actually get a response from her saying, hey, what'd you have for breakfast? Oh, well, I actually had this for breakfast. 
wow, you actually ate breakfast for once? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> uh, I love making fun of my sister, but in, it's in good fun. <laughs> for desserts? Hmm. It honestly depends. I think I crave meat more than I do with sweets, to be honest. I know that sounds weird, but if I smell chicken, I'm just like, chicken. If I smell a dessert, I'm just like, what's that? I don't know, it's weird. But for a dessert, it would probably be cake or ice cream. Mostly strawberry and sometimes chocolate. Who's your favorite cast character? Ooh, that, that actually looked pretty good. I'm kind of hungry now. High school musical. <laughs> uh, is this a trick question? Obviously, Vanessa Hudgens, a.k.a. Gabriella Montez. She was just so much fun to watch. I loved Gabriella in the High School Musical films. She was the cutest one out of it all of the characters. Also, Vanessa Hudgens is my favorite actress, so it's kind of obvious why she would be my favorite character in the movie. Such a great movie. I recommend High School Musical if you've never seen it. All of the series, go watch them. I love them. The songs are so addicting. Gabriella is the cutest one. Definitely watch those movies. Well, that is going to be it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for those awesome questions. I would like to do more of these in the future, so if you guys who watch my videos or you guys on Google Plus have any more questions, let me know. If you want me to make another one of these videos, I definitely would love to. It would be more fun to have like more awesome questions to be asked by you guys. It would be so much fun. So yeah, until then, I will see you next time. Goodbye! Okay, that was another awesome video by Little Bahatsu Miku, and I will say this, if I can actually get a hundred subscribers, right now, I am at, I uh, gotta re-log into my app here, here we go, I am at 92 subscribers, if we could get that up to a hundred, I will do a Q&A video, just like Little Bahatsu Miku, just not as cool looking, because I'm not that talented. I kind of got screwed over in that department. Thank you, college. But, yeah. Very interesting. Very cool things. Um, you're definitely an amazing person, and the things you like and talk about on here kind of reflect your overall personality of how I see you as a person, which is a good person, so don't need to worry about that. But uh, please go subscribe to Lobo Hot and Miku Pro on MeWe. Sadly, Google Plus is gone, which is such a sick shame. That's where I met her. And did so many collab videos for her, but uh, now everything's gonna be on MeWe, so follow her on MeWe and subscribe to her on YouTube. And as always, have a nice day, live, love, and game on. Peace.